This is one of the biggest and cheapest hobby FDM printers on the market. It's Elegoo's newest iteration to their line of Neptune 3 FDM machines, and it comes in at just 470 US dollars. If you've been watching this channel recently, then you know I've been able to get some amazing results from the smaller Neptune 3 Pro. So I was really curious to see that same machine in a much bigger form factor. Let's go over some specs quickly before we do any printing. First off, it has a massive build volume of 420mm on the X and Y, and 500mm on the Z. A huge spring steel removable bed coated in PEI. Here's the one from the Neptune Pro for comparison. Dual Z-axis lead screws. These struts for keeping the gantry rigid, even when printing at maximum height. The same removable touchscreen pendant as we've seen on the smaller Neptune machines. A bed leveling probe used for mesh bed leveling. And of course, a direct drive extruder. Obviously, with a build volume of this size, I want to print really big things. And since I'm super impatient, I immediately swapped the 0.4mm nozzle for a 0.8mm nozzle. Now there's already a machine profile for the Neptune 3 in Prusa Slicer, so all I had to do was add my updated machine and nozzle size. Prusa Slicer has this great feature where you can add a maximum volumetric flow rate, which is essentially the maximum amount of plastic you can feed into your hot end while still having time to fully melt it into its molten state for extrusion. I set this value to a somewhat reserved 12 millimeters cubed per second and set all my speeds to zero. I did the same thing for my extrusion widths in the advanced print setting tab as well. Since Prusa Slicer knows both the max volumetric flow rate and the nozzle diameter, it'll set both the speed and extrusion width accordingly. Now that we're all set up to print, we're gonna need a big model. So using the help of the generative design workspace in Fusion 360, I designed this stool. Just to make sure I had the right print settings, I printed it at 30% scale. And here's the resulting stool sample. There's a small amount of stringing and a pretty noticeable Z seam, but with a 0.8 nozzle, this is pretty common. With a print time of under four hours, I'm super happy with it, and it ended up making a nice little plant stand. Now, onto the full size print. The large nozzle size and the maxed out volumetric flow rates meant this thing chewed through filament. And with a print time of two and a half days, it printed about a kilogram of PLA per day. Luckily for me, the integration of the runout sensor on this machine works flawlessly. Pausing the print and alerting me while also keeping the bed and extruder warm so the print didn't release off the PEI sheet. I had quite a bit of confidence in the filament runout detection, so I switched to using all the filament sample rolls that I've acquired over the years. After about a day of printing, I noticed a small amount of lifting around the edges of the print. I normally wouldn't worry about this, but I really didn't want this thing to pop off the build plate. So I grabbed my hog glue gun and added a pretty generous amount around the edges of the print. And the print was a success. In hindsight, hot glue really wasn't the best move here. It was kept almost molten by the heated bed, so I'm not sure how much it actually helped. I was hoping I could just peel it off the stool once it had cooled down, but I ended up having to use a razor to get it off. Also, the leftover glue on my build plate would not come off no matter what, and I ended up having to use a razor to remove most of it there. So definitely, don't do this. And here it is, the fully 3D printed, generative designed stool. It's by far the biggest and heaviest thing I've ever printed. At almost two and a half kilograms, I thought for sure this Bedslinger i3 would run into an issue near the end of the print, moving this much weight back and forth, but it finished with no problems. 
And of course, it's strong, easily holding 200 pounds of nerd. This video is brought to you by Elegoo. Whether you're interested in FDM or resin printing, Elegoo has a machine for you. From budget and beginner-friendly machines to high-end machines with professional results and everything in between. Head over to the link in the description and help support the people who support this channel. Next to print was this Dragon Dice Tower from Little Top. Huge shout out to him for sending this model my way. Printed this with a layer height of 0.4 millimeters and used Elegoo's gray PLA. The large layer height definitely shows itself on certain parts of this model, but I think the texture of these dragon scales is amazing. And the coolest thing about this model, it's wall mountable when not in use. Next, I wanted to try one of these water globes. I recently picked one up and it's given my plants a little bit of a buffer if I miss a day or two of watering. So I jumped back into Fusion and designed one. I lowered both the speeds and the layer height to capitalize on the transparent effect of this Reflow PETG. And here's the result. These look and feel awesome. And at only three hours print time, I'm blown away by the functional use cases of a machine of this size with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm super excited to have a reliable large format FDM machine in the studio here, and I wanna know what you'd like to see printed next on it. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.